Hey guys, WWE Kids 16, Space 16 here, and before I start the video, like my pajamas? Okay, so, in the thumbnail, you're probably wondering, did I buy Finn Balor's WWE Network Spotlight figure? And the answer is, yes, I did. I did buy Finn Balor's WWE Network Elite Spotlight figure. It, this figure is actually pretty darn cool. I mean, okay. Let's let's just look at it for a second. I mean, here. Look how cool that is. So this is from NXT TakeOver in Dallas in July 2015. So this is when he faced Samoa Joe, when Samoa Joe betrayed him. So he got all out demon plus some extra. So this is pretty cool. So it actually does come in different pieces. So you can take, I can't think of the name right now. This off, I, I for some reason. I can't think of the name. Chainsaw. Chainsaw. You can take the, take the chainsaw off. Can take like the hair off. Uh, it's not hair, but yeah, the head. I don't know. And the jacket. This is the hardest thing to take off. Like you, it's so hard. It, it's almost you think you're gonna rip it. That's how hard it is to take off. See. It's pretty frustrating too when you try and take it off. Because you can't really. So I'll give you a look at what this figure looks like without everything on. I mean, it's, it's really just the normal Finn Balor figure. Um, it's a demon. But yeah, it's, it's just the demon. Oh my god, this is so frustrating, guys. So, on a scale to uh, 1 to 10, how do I rate this figure? I probably would rate it uh, probably a 10 out of 10. I mean, figures are actually pretty darn hard to get, you know, a 10 out of 10. But this figure definitely deserves it. Okay, so, this is without... I mean, the demon skull, it, like, the demon painting is on point. The hair is definitely on point. And the face sculpt is definitely on point. That looks like Finn Baller. Um, the knee pads are pretty cool, how they go in with the boots. <sighs> the trunks are nice. Yeah, this is... This figure is pretty spot on, if I say so myself. The, uh, the, what are they called, like the arm straps? I guess that you can say that's what they are. That's on point, really. Got like, tape on his fingers. And this is the best figure I probably have. This, the demon is definitely on point. The head, the hair, the boots, the knee pads, the trunks, everything is on point. So, I do recommend you to get this figure. Um, I think I. It came out last year. And I think it was. I think I bought it the same price that it came out. It's $35. Definitely worth it, though. I definitely recommend you to get this. So, I'll answer the question one more time in the thumbnail. Did I buy Finn Balor's WWE Network Spotlight Elite figure? The answer is. Yes, I did. This figure is amazing. 10 out of 10. This is the coolest figure I've ever gotten. Like, I've been wanting a Finn Balor forever. Finn Balor is definitely my favorite superstar. And I have just been wanting, like, just a Finn Balor figure. Like, I wanted the, um, the Bullet Club one, I think. Or was that just the Balor Club? I think it was the Balor Club figure. I wanted that one where it came with the jacket and I wanted this one way more 
like just way more because when I noticed it it was just amazing a youtuber got me into this um it's wrestling days so go subscribe to him it's wrestling days so it's just wrestling if you know how to spell it uh, uh w r e s t l i n g days d a z i don't think there's any spaces if it doesn't work with any spaces then do spaces but go subscribe to him um, he makes really interesting videos, so definitely go subscribe to him if you like WWE and action figures. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this probably isn't um, as long as a video that I usually make. I usually make up to 10 minute videos, but today it's just like a 5 or 6 minute video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you all next time. Stay awesome, guys. See ya.